Rebel Volleyball fans, as we inch towards the 2020 season, excited to sit down once again with Ole Miss head volleyball coach Caleb Banworth. Coach, the calendar just flipped October. We're under three weeks until the first match of the year. When will it become real for you? I, I was just wondering that the other day. I can't believe it's October. I mean, just like the little bit of fall crisp in the air, I'm just, I'm just blown away that it's already October. But um, it's starting to get real. It's starting to get real now that we're talking about, you know, how do we um, manage the team's legs during a game week? How do we, you know, we got to come up with starting lineups, you know, those kind of things. So now that we're getting closer to matches and, and it's um, all these things are starting to happen, it's, it's getting a little bit more real. Yeah, you just mentioned it, but when we talked the last time, there was no starting lineup in place, probably something that we're not going to see for a while here. But what does that do for the level of competition at practice where everybody really believes they have a shot to to crack the starting lineup? Oh, it's awesome. And they really, they truly do. And I I told them that everyone is starting from scratch, you know, for me. And we don't have any starting lineups in mind. And at this point in the year, we're in compete mode. I told them, I want to know who's going to win. I want to know who's going to help their teammates win. We're statting everything. We're recording everything. So our best six players are going to be on the court, and that's made for some pretty gnarly competition in practice. And I know every coach would would love to have more time to prepare, especially a first-year coach. And the growth from week one to the final week is going to be magnificent. But where would this team be if they had to play today? And how different would that team look as you guys go into your final week and you guys get to put your fingerprints on the program? Yeah, I think that I think they would look good. I think they're ready to compete. We've been training now on and off for nine and a half months. Right. So um, we've put a lot of really good work in this year, and, and the team is ready to compete. And I think that would all translate really well to matches. And, of course, as we continue to play six on six, we continue to be in season and get that in-match experience. It's just going to get better and better. So recruiting, we've talked about this, is going to be a, ma- a major key for this program as it continues to grow. And when you tab Maggie Scott as an assistant, you really gave her the keys to be a recruiting coordinator. What, what do you see in her that makes her be the kind of person you want pulling the future Rebels here to Oxford? Uh, Maggie is amazing. Maggie, I told Maggie this. I tell everybody this, but hiring Maggie has been the best decision I've made as a head coach so far. She's amazing. She connects with all these recruits really, really well. She know we've connected a lot on, you know, what kind of kids do we need? What are we looking for on the court? What are we looking for off the court? And she has completely taken over the recruiting world um, by storm. So she's been amazing. We already have, you know, a really solid 2021 class ready to come in. Um, I obviously can't really talk about them that much, but um, she's, she's making waves in the recruiting world. So she's been amazing. How difficult has it been for, for you all without putting a product on the floor for now a delayed portion of, of the schedule uh, to, to build these relationships, to sell this program? It's been a little bit difficult, you know, with a new coach and new culture, new systems. There's this huge question mark of, you know, are they going to win or is it going to work? What's going to happen? Um, so it's, it's a little bit difficult getting kids to buy into that vision especially when they can't come and visit campus. (laughs) So that throws an even bigger wrench into things when they can't come visit. Um, So it's definitely, you know, we're navigating this really weird obstacle course, Um, but so far it's been really good. And hopefully when we get on the court and and hopefully start winning matches, then then those question marks will be answered. Well, you're selling the the culture and the program already before the year goes because you've added to the roster with Sasha Ratliff. Uh, tell us a little bit about her, what you're expecting from her uh, this season and maybe into the future. I know she's just a freshman uh, enrolling in after San Diego canceled their program this year or their season this year. Yep. So Sasha is freshman, a super late addition to our roster. Um, but when she ke- became available in the transfer portal, that was kind of a no-brainer that we're going to go after her. She's super athletic, super talented. Um, her dad played in the NBA, so she's just got really athletic genes. Um, a middle blocker played at the same club that Callaway Kaysen played at, so she's played a really high level. She's played overseas, internationally, um, just has done really, really cool things in the sport of volleyball. And her athleticism, her speed, her power is all going to translate onto the court right away. Um, and I mean, I, I see her making a very big impact on the program. 
Saw you tweeting this weekend about the Ole Miss football win. What's it been like for you uh, adjusting to your SEC football fandom now? I love it. I love college football, and I'm from Iowa, so I, I grew up rooting for the Hawkeyes. I went to Nebraska, obviously. I'm a huge Husker fan, and now I get to add another team to my to my fan fandom, I guess. So um, I got to go to the Florida game, which was super fun. I got to watch the Kentucky game on TV, so I was – so hype when we got that last um, extra point. Good. So love it. Love following Lane, his journey. I think that the the competition for best dressed head coach is already over. Like he's already won that. So I'm not going to even try, I don't think. Um, but yeah, following the football team has been awesome. And fall football is like one of my favorite things. He, uh, he came to the first game in an Ole Miss baseball uniform. we got to give him an Ole Miss volleyball long sleeve uh, uniform right. to wear to his next game. Does that sound right. good? Just, yeah, whatever, Lane. Do whatever you want. <laughs> well, it's almost your guys' turn to get going, and I'm sure he'll be supporting you all the same way that you guys are supporting them in every other fall sport. So, under three weeks, really excited, Coach, and we're excited to see you put that product out there on the floor. Awesome. Thank you.